Hey, what's up? It's Ike Paz. Today I'm going to show you how to actually use the Amazon KDP product placement ad, how to set it up to help you sell your Amazon books on KDP. I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. It's very simple. On top of that, I'm also going to show you how to find those sneaky little ASINs, that, that very important number that Amazon uses to identify um, the books within its platform. Sometimes those ASINs are not displayed on the landing page. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to find those. Stay tuned. You're going to want to watch this if you're interested on uh, interested in making money online within the Amazon KDP platform. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, so let's get started. Let's say, for example, I want to advertise my book right here. This is my book, but just, just let's say, for example, say this is my book and I want to advertise it on related products, right? So this is a kid's coloring book, sorry, a cat coloring book for kids. And if I go to um, Amazon in the books category, right up here, you see cat coloring book for kids, right? I have the top search results. These guys get the lion's share of the traffic and I want to tap into that, right? Uh, the problem is to actually advertise on these different products, you need the ASIN number. I'm going to show you how to set it up within the advertising, sorry, within the KDP advertising uh, section. But first, I want to show you something really cool. So if you notice down here in this cat's coloring book for kids, if I scroll down, you, you can see clearly the ASIN number, right? This person is an independent publisher, right? That's why I can find the ASIN so easily. However, if I go to this color um, cat coloring book and I scroll towards the bottom, there is no ASIN in sight. This person uh, is publishing out of a publishing house, right? So there's no ASIN in sight, but there is. If I go up to the top, if I go to the link here, and I copy that link and I go to my notepad here and I drop that link right here, boom, like that. Uh, you're gonna see the whole link here. What I wanna do is you wanna delete all the way up past this little DP slash uh, section, delete that and delete past this serial, this, sorry, this, sorry, this number here, boom. And that is the ASIN for this book, okay? And you want to do the same exact things for all these other books with us. So if I scroll down here, you'll see this has no ASIN if, uh, because it's, again, coming out of a publishing house. What you want to do, again, uh, collect the link at the top, drop it into your uh, notepad, and uh, do the same thing. You want to delete anything, uh, anything after, sorry, anything before the DP the DP uh, extension there and get rid of any everything after the, this uh, ASIN. That's the ASIN, okay? You wanna do that at least 20 times to get a nice stable of books to target and to advertise for. Okay, so after you get a nice set of ASIN numbers that are directly related to your KDP book, whatever it may be, a cat coloring book or a cat Sudoku book, whatever the case may be, you wanna have a good number of these, okay? At least 20, okay? Uh, you know, with the little trick I showed you with the ASINs, what you wanna do is go down here to create campaign. Very simple to do, nothing difficult here. Any second now? <laughs> okay, get in there. Okay, you're gonna to wanna to choose sponsored products click continue to sponsored products okay i'm sorry this is act this is a little slow today but uh bear with me you're going to want to see this okay first thing you want to do is name your campaign so i'm going to name it cat coloring book i also like to have the date uh august 2nd okay and i like to be two weeks I like to give it at least two weeks to, uh, to, to get some results, right? So let's go with uh, at least two weeks. Let's go with August 16th or so. That should be enough. Daily budget of three bucks. That's okay. Uh, manual targeting. That's, that's what I prefer. You want to scroll down. Dynamic bids down only, meaning that you let Amazon to 
uh, get that click for you for a cheaper price if available. Okay, really important. If you go with up and down, you know, it's gonna fluctuate. And if you go with fixed bids, it's not gonna budge from what price you, you start at, okay? Really important. Then you wanna go to ad format. I'm gonna keep it at, uh, I'm actually, I'm gonna show you how to create a custom text ad. I usually do standard, but when it comes to product placements, um, I've been told that custom text text ads outperform. Okay. Then you go. Then you're gonna want to choose your product. Okay. Then you're gonna instead of keyword targeting, you're gonna hit. You're gonna click product targeting. Really important. And you're gonna um, put in an initial bid. I'm gonna keep it very low. At actually, let's put it at 19. Okay. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to individual products. Okay, go to individual products and and put in and click on enter list. Now here is where you're gonna dump, okay, all of these ASINs that you collected, okay? Dump it right in here, just like that, scroll down. Now you're gonna have to, um, you're gonna have to actually, you know, change uh, the custom text to attract your audience, right? So here's an example, wit meets under murder, so what's wit meets murder in this collection of classic crime capers where Sherlock saved the day? Okay, so it ends with a question. That's a good little tool to use when advertising. Uh, will you be able to stand the cuteness from these cats? within our kids cats coloring book okay and then click launch campaign and you're done that's all you got to do to create a product placement ad within the KDP ads platform let me know what you think in the comment section below if you want to learn how to earn with KDP Amazon Make sure you check out the information below and don't forget to like and subscribe to get more videos like this one. Bye-bye.